wearing those malas. Divya Malya and Ambara Dharam and different types of uh, dress. Hmm? Ambara, different dress Bhagwan is. Beautiful dress. Human being also we wear so many variety of dress and um, every day the new fashion and new thing keeps coming up. Sometimes you see a, uh, that dress and you wonder how it is worn also. Very complex. Hmm? So, they are made in a different way, then different material is used and different things are put on it. So, human beings also, they have this uh, variety in them. But here, we, uh, Sanjay is describing a great many variety in the Lord, wearing different different types of amber dress. So one can imagine all the variety of dress and all everything Aneka uh, Arjuna could see. Then Divya Gandhanu Lepanam and his whole body was uh, uh, what it was a, uh, this uh, Divya Gandha this uh, Gandha means the sandal paste and all was uh, applied all over the all over the body hmm? beautifully divya gandhanu lepanam see bhagwan likes to do all this shringar different types of uh, makeup it's not all this world just imagine if the world was just black and white it would have been very boring like hmm? everyone black and white no variety but everything is so very beautiful with so many colors right? and just few colors which we can see but with those few colors so many varieties we can see in this world also but here is much more and grander than what we can see in this world so divya gandha anulepanam sarva ascharya mayam devam and the most wonderful Devata in front of Arjuna, he saw the most wonderful scene, the whole Lord in a most different way itself. Therefore, actually after seeing Bhagwan in this, then he understood the greatness of Krishna. See, unless some chamatkar is shown, nobody does namaskar also. Bina chamatkar ke namaskar, then you will find that Arjuna is doing namaskar like anything. Hmm? Because we need some chamatkar, otherwise we feel hey, to, it's like me only what is there, so great. Hmm? So, here Bhagwan, everything is ascharyamayam, most wonderful. Sarva ascharyamayam devam, anantam vishvato mukham, infinite, infinite uh, expanse of the Lord, and Vishwato Mukham with face everywhere, everywhere in all. So you can imagine as though Arjuna had become part of that divinity and having that divine vision he could see. It is as though God looking at himself in the mirror. Huh? Just imagine Bhagwan himself, how he will look at himself with all his glory and variety. So he had given that little vision to Arjuna that you can see me. Sometimes you, uh, the magician and all making all sorts of tricks and sitting in the audience we see, but uh, if the magician is kind enough, he says, okay, up stage pe aake dekh sakte ho. And then he shows the hat, empty hat and all. And you are standing behind and you see under the table that rabbits are loitering around. <laughs> And then he says that nothing is there and then suddenly a rabbit comes. <laughs> so here Arjuna was given the divine vision. He could see the glory of Bhagwan in all his variety. So Sarvascharya Mayam Devam Anantam Vishvato Mukham having Mukha everywhere. Now Sanjay describes in the most beautiful uh, language, in the next verse he says, 
ದಿವಿ ಸೂರ್ಯ ಸಹಸ್ರ ಭವೇದ್ಯುಗಪದುತ್ಥಿ ಯದಿ ಭಾಸದೃಶಿ ಸಾಸ್ಯಾಸಸ್ತ ಮಹಾತ್ಮನ ದಿವಿ ಸೂರ್ಯ ಸಹಸ್ರ ಭವೇದ್ಯುಗ ah he says that just imagine what is the bhas bhas means the glow and the luminosity of this vision of this bhagwan's divine form sanjay is trying to explain with the with the worldly examples all of us we have seen the sun especially the rising sun or the setting sun we can see but as the sun rises much more about the in the world in the sky it becomes difficult to see the sun it's so powerful that our eyes cannot see the glow of that sun brilliant so just imagine now again imagination ha huh? just imagine that we have only one sun just imagine there are thousands of sun rises at the same time in the sky from every side like you are sitting don't imagine that you will get cooked and all just positive imagination just imagine that thousands of sun rises from all the uh, from every every uh, what you call direction the sun rises just imagine the glow and the shine and the the brightness which will be there ದಿವಿ ಸೂರ್ಯ ಸಹಸ್ರ ಭವೇದ್ ಯುಗಪದ ಉತ್ಥಿತ ಯುಗಪದ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸೈಮಲ್ಟೇನಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಕಾಯ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸನ್ ವೆನ್ ದೇ ರೈಸ್ ಇಫ್ ದೇ ರೈಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಇಮ್ಯಾಜಿನ್ ದ ಲೈಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಯದಿ ಭಾ ಸದೃಶಿ ಸಾತ್ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೈಟ್ ಬಿ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ ಟು ದ ಲೈಟ್ ಈವನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಹಿ ಹೆಸಿಟೇಟ್ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ದ ಬ್ರಿಲಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಇಸ್ ಮಚ್ ಮೋರ್ ದೆನ್ ದಿಸ್ but this is the nearest he can say i can give you example so yadi bhas sadrushi sasyat bhasas tasya mahatmanah of that mahatma of that great lord vishwarup the 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 globe was so brilliant that it can be compared to a thousand suns this uh, same uh, this shloka was quoted by one of the scientist also who described the though it is not compared i mean it is not you cannot compare it with this but uh, describe the, um, the the that uh, nuclear uh, nuclear explosion he quoted this shloka nuclear explosion suddenly the big glow is there so si- uh, similarly uh, one can imagine the brightness of bhagwan's uh, nature si bhagwan uh, the real nature of the lord with all his total total power and total thing it's it is beyond our our uh, power to comprehend it it's like a transistor which have which can be run over with the little batteries and all 12 volts and all if it is uh, applied to the 240 volts directly it will not uh, tolerate that power it will burn similarly we as human beings with uh, identified with our body mind and all we have our own limitation of understanding god is we have trying to put him in words and trying to put him in figures and all but that is not the that is not we feel human beings feel god belongs to human being and he is this and this and is much more than what we can imagine all words fail to describe the total glory of bhagwan we are trying to describe in human language but he is he is not he is beyond all language god doesn't belong to human beings only he is the totality so his glow and his power and his strength and shine 
our Sanjay is trying to describe here, he says it is like uh, thousands of sun, if they, are, they rise in the sky and the, the shine which will be there, it can be compared to that, he says. Yadi bha sadrashi sasyad bhashat tasya mahatmanaha. Further, he says, Tatrae kastham jagat krishnam Pravibhakta mane kadha Apashyad deva devasya Sharire pandhavastada Tatre kastham jagat krishnam Pravibhakta mane kadha Apashyad deva devasya Tatra ekastham jagat krishnam pravibhakta mane kadha apashyad. Apashyad he saw who Pandavaha, Pandav, the Arjuna, he saw Deva Devasya Sharire in the in the Lord of the Lords, in the body of the Lord of Lords, in Bhagavan Krishna's that form. Not that he saw everywhere, but in his form itself he saw the entire creation. The entire cosmos, everything he saw. See, as yesterday I was talking about that uh, holographic universe. See, in our scripture, there is beautiful that mantra which we chant every day, Purnam Adaha, Purnam Idam. That is complete and this is complete. Purnam is complete. God or that Brahma or the supreme reality is complete, is Purna. And this, this world, expression of the reality is also complete. Everything in this world is, is a complete expression of divinity. It's like uh, to give a worldly example, for uh, you can take a magnet. If magnet has got two poles, this, uh, what do you call that? South Pole and North Pole. In my school days I have read that or studied that even if you break that magnet into two pieces, each piece will have North Pole and South Pole. You break it further, that will also have North Pole and South Pole. However small you break, it will have that both the poles. Means you can make the magnet small, but even that small magnet is complete. Similarly, you try to cut this world, cross section, take a little piece of the world, but little piece of the world is also divine. And when we say divine, it is completely divine. Not that one piece, uh, little piece of world is little divine. The divinity which is there in the sun, the divinity is there in my heart, the divinity is there in the light here, divinity is there in the book, it's complete. Divinity cannot be divided into parts, into, into little, little parts. So when we talk about even one body, in that body, the divinity is there in his full glory. And in that divinity exists the entire cosmos. So even if one wants to, theoretically, the entire world exists even in a little part of the world. The entire cosmos exists in a little part of that world. So here, when uh, Arjuna saw this, we should uh, we should understand that it is the it is uh, uh, not a little like a TV monitor, and he saw a little bit not like that. The entire cosmos he could see. Like the famous uh, statement is there by one of the one of the writer that you can see the universe in a sand grain and eternity in a moment. Eternity is there in a moment. We should be able to see, look, the eternity is there in a moment. Every object which we experience in this world is experienced as sat, as ease, ease, ease. That is divinity only. 
every object which we or every experience has got consciousness behind to experience it and every experience has gotten uh, we experience a joy we experience some emotion in it we experience a degree of happiness in it so every experience has got divinity sat chid anand every corner every uh, what you call cell and every atom in this world is completely divine not half divine hmm so here arjuna could see because bhagwan's body was also divine so in his body as a demonstration bhagwan showed him the virat form so apashyat dev devasya sharire see this uh, bhagwan also he told arjuna that you see in mama dehe you see in my body then the vishvarupa darshan sanjay also is mentioning in bhagwan's body arjuna saw the vishvarupa darshan and arjuna also will describe tava deva dehe in your body i am seeing this whole thing so in one particular form which bhagwan took as krishna in that krishna form itself arjuna could see the glory of the entire creation as uh, as i had said uh, yesterday i gave one example in the field of science little bit more you can pay attention to that example then we will go further ha huh? beech beech mein se ruk ruk ke ha so what example i told you yesterday about the fish fish in a tank so one tank is there fish tank and one fish is there but two cameras are put so today i will add, add some more cameras ha huh? so let us say 10 cameras are there at different angles and those 10 cameras are focusing on the same tank same one fish is there and but in 10 different monitors it is seen and i am sitting in that room looking at all those monitors looking at those monitors i feel i am seeing 10 different fish but i also see a strange connection between all among all these fish that when this fish goes there that fish goes there and all of them seems to be going in some harmony is there but still they look different they are appearing different but there is some connection connecting all of them in fact later on when i investigate i come to know they are not 10 fish they are one fish only seen as though 10 the tan was an appearance what was real was one similarly all the variety of beings which we see in this world they appear different but really speaking it's one only one that supreme reality alone appears like all of us appears like this vast cosmos and there is a beautiful harmony between among all of 